Hey, how's it going, everybody? Pragmatic Ag Chair. I'm here with my good friend uh, Jacob Johnson from JTJ. So uh, we're actually not at home right now. Uh, a couple days ago, we had to go on uh, take a little bit of a personal. So uh, this is just going to be the setup for this video. But uh, while we are away, yes, we did watch, uh, of course, the Beavis and Butthead episode three uh, on uh, Paramount Plus. Continuing on with my Judge's New Revival series. So, last week when they dropped episode 1 and 2, uh, to my knowledge, we kind of liked pretty much every episode. Uh, kind of more or less besides the special one, which is the one where uh, Beavis was talking with the dumpster fire. Which, really quickly, I want to kind of bring up something. So, someone actually commented in my last video that, uh, so, as far as like that episode, like I was like, like we were kind of confused, like, why is this fire just having him do, like, good things? We just thought it was kind of dumb and lame. And then somebody kind of pointed out in my video, they are like, well, what I got out of, out of it was that because uh, the series was canceled uh, initially in the very beginning, partially because uh, people were complaining that, the you know, Beavis' obsession with fire was actually influencing kids to play with fire. And so someone was commenting on my video pointing out that maybe the reason why this fire was doing was telling Beavis to do good deeds. It was kind of like, it was like a laugh at, you know, people that helped get the uh, series canceled, you know, that were expecting this fire to have him do all these bad things, but it's actually a good influence. <laughs> so just kind of like poke, poking fun at that. So that's what somebody pointed out to me, which I was like, oh my God, that's, that's, that's genius. That if, is... if, if that's the case, that's fucking great. I don't like it. But going forward with this uh, revival series, we are now talking about episode three, which has two two uh, segments titled Roof and River. So let's just get right into it. So the first uh, segment of this episode titled Roof shows Mr. Anderson's uh, return, and he's actually talking to Beavis and Butthead about how he's going on a trip, but he has two important packages coming. One uh, being extremely important, which is his hearing aids, and then a second package, which is a uh, gift. For somebody. So going forward, uh, as like literally like seconds after Mr. Anderson leaves, these packages show up, and the gift for the person, which uh, was actually a giant glass bowl, which immediately Beavis is like, "Let's break it. Let's throw it in the street." So he gets ready to crush this bowl, like just in be classic Beavis antics. He's getting ready to crush this bowl in the middle of the street, and then what I really liked about this is that it it, it does this kind of like uh, shift where. It shows Butthead being, like, inspirational, doing this, like, dramatic monologue. He's like, well, hold on, Beavis. Yes, we need to break this thing. And yes, it would be incredibly cool if we crushed it. But we're better than that. Let's take it on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> so they end up having this plan to go on the roof and drop the bull from there. But this episode actually takes a surprising turn, which we find out that Beavis actually has a fear of heights. So they end up finding this ladder in his yard, in Anderson's yard, and of course they use it to go up the roof. Now Beavis, being extremely scared to climb this roof, he doesn't realize that he leaves the ball on the ground and then climbs up. And then from there, things escalate in your classic Beavis and Butthead style and fashion. They get into an argument at the roof, which causes the ladder to get knocked over, and now they are both stuck on this roof. And it goes from there exactly how you would expect. They're going through these you know, just absurd batshit plans to try and get off the roof and just failing insanely. But one thing I will say about this episode, to me at least, is that it was the first episode, as far as this series goes, that was the least, at least genuinely, like, consistently hilarious. Everything about its writing and its pacing, you know, it, it fits. You know, not only, you know, in the episode, but also, like, compared to, like, the throwbacks of Beavis and Bite, it feels a lot like that. It just, to me, it didn't contain as much as you would expect out of this, you know, revival series, especially from, like, you know, what we were seeing in the first few episodes, especially with this kind of, like, you know, a setup with these two guys getting stuck on this roof. It's like they went into their roots for this one, like, it felt like an old Beavis and Butthead episode. Like, it did. something you would watch in the 90s. Not something from the revival, but something from back in the 90s. Yeah, and that's kind of like what I was thinking. Like, it feels like a throwback episode. Like, everything that you would expect, you know, like, like it does feel like a throwback episode in the sense of, like, these two characters getting themselves into something so batshit and ridiculous over something so stupid to begin with. 
and just going just to, to absurd routes with doing that. But in saying that, like, yes, there was comedic moments to it. There was a lot of ri uh, writing that I was just like, that that's perfect. But, again, for something this absurd of, an, of, again, like a plot, I just don't feel like it did fully enough with it that they could have. And I think that it ended kind of not only abruptly, but more anticlimactic than it could have. Personally, I thought the episode was fine, but just fine. It was one of those things where it's like, it works fine enough with its background and ideas, but just, again, like, as far as, like, what this could have been, especially with its plot, as well as feeling like a throwback compared to the first couple episodes, I just feel like, as far as being consistent, that was not its strongest point. Now, for the next episode, titled River. So this centers on the two boys. We see them going to their local pool, you know, trying to get in because they want to get ripped and show off to the girls, which they're not allowed to go in because they're banned for reasons you'll see in the fucking episode. <laughs> So they come across a river where they see a group of college kids just hanging out, and then they have the bright idea where, oh my gosh, we can show off to these guys. Let's get in that river and hang out with them. And basically, it is everything that you would expect to go wrong. They find this giant plank of wood that they get on, which, you know, leads them down a very dangerous path from this river. Nowhere that they were expecting to go, you know, leads them down waterfalls. They come across some guy fishing where... Beavis mistakes the bait as a gummy worm and gets attached to the fucking fish hook. <laughs> and what I'm gonna say about this episode specifically is that it didn't do anything genuinely surprising, but they do go a bit further into it as far as adding elements of, you know, anxiety and danger and even themes of, like, hopelessness getting toward the end of the episode where it all escalates and where they actually end up. It's just one thing after another in those themes, you know, again, from anxiety to danger to hopelessness and one thing that I really want to add that I, uh, I that I really want to know, which is very specific, is that this episode, I don't know if you got this, like, kind of, like, uh, feeling, but it almost felt cinematic. Like, this whole episode, I'm like, this is, like, a plot point that you could see in a, th like, theatrical movie from these guys. This is something that could take place in a movie because it was so absurd. It was so well done. The writing and the pacing and the whole idea behind it and how far they actually go with keeping it exactly where it should be, it was just, it was something where I'm like, this doesn't deserve to be like a 10 minute episode. I agree with you, and I liked the episode, but I gotta be honest, I felt that they were trying a little too hard with some of their jokes in it. Like, yeah, it kind of seemed like they were trying to just slap, slap some stuff in there to get you to laugh, like, yeah, like... There's this scene where they're just doing push-ups over and over, and it's just kind of like, wh where's the joke? Like, and they're all talking about how we're so ripped, and I'm like, well, that's the th well, that that kind of worked to me because it's like, well, they're doing these push-ups. One, they're not doing them right. Two, they're barely doing anything. Three, they're expecting to look ripped immediately, and it's beavis and butt. So I thought that was fine, but it does go down lengths where it does kind of come across a little bit forced. With, again, you know, again, this episode is one of those things where it's like one thing after another with all these batshit, crazy, dangerous, anxiety-induced, you know, elements. But, like, I guess, like, what it comes down to is, like, I thought this episode was fine, especially with the source material. I thought this episode was fine. But in saying that, like, it is a good episode. But compared to the episode one and two's good episodes, this is ranked lower. I I'm going to say it's a little weak in comparison to the other two. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. I'm hoping the next one's better. I'm not gonna lie. I'm hoping the next one's gonna like be the one that really tells you this is gonna be a good season. Right, which actually uh comes to my thoughts on this episode in a whole. Which is like when you after you watch this episode, it's good enough. Like the first episode, Roof and River, they're both fine. But here's my t take on it: is that it, it's one of those episodes. It's that type of episode three where you look back at episode one and two and you're like yep those were the real ends those were definitely the premiere episodes that's what i would have i would have put at least above this one like i thought river was a good episode just compared to the other episodes i thought were good so far in the series it's ranked lower and i thought roof was fine enough i liked it i'd probably put it like right above uh the special one which is so far the only episode where i really haven't been a huge fan of it just feels, again, like that episode 3 where, 
for the most part, it just makes you look back at how strong and necessary the first two episodes really were as far as premieres go. They aren't bad, but and and for the most part, yes, they are good. They're just, you know, next in line for, as far as, you know, positivity goes after the first two episodes. Overall, I'm going to give episode three of Beavis and Butthead's Revival series on Paramount Plus an overall solid positive review. I, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a pretty solid positive myself. Yeah, again, the I've, I've liked every episode except the special one where I just think it's a little mixed. The special one did seem a little... Yeah, but in saying that, Roof, I think, is like right above that. Where it is still in the positive area, it's just my least favorite of the episodes I thought were good so far. And then probably right above that, I'd put, of course, River. So I think they're good episodes, just so far... Not nearly as strong as what we've gotten so far from episode 1 and 2, but they're not bad. So guys, that is going to do it for our uh, reviews of episode 3's segments of the Beavis and Butthead Revival series on Paramount+. Plus. Our next review will be Bodies, 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 which we will be seeing very soon. We were actually going to see it today, but again, we're taking a little bit of a personal, but we will get around to it. Uh, within the next couple days. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I hope that you guys like this video. Let us know what you guys thought of episode 3 of uh, the Beavis and Butthead Paramount series. Take care guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in episode 4 of course next week.